I got another breakfast sandwich and another coffee. Must mean it's Saturday morning. Welcome back to the garage. So today, all I really intend to do is get the sill welded in on the passenger side. I'm gonna get the bonnet off and uh, get that out of the way. Finish up the transition pieces between the bonnet, or excuse me, between the body and the sill uh, in the door jam and the A post there, and then uh, start moving towards getting the body back off and getting it flipped over. I'm going to try to build uh, wooden bucks to be able to flip the body up, like uh, Chef Tush had on, for his TR250. We'll see if uh, if I get that far today, but uh, really that's about it. So I'm going to enjoy my yummy sandwich and then get to work. All right, it's about 9.15. I got the uh, sill welded the rest of the way in uh, for the most part. Still some uh, holes that I left at the front there. I'm going to take care of them when I, when I get the body back off. Um, so now I'm going to work on getting the bonnet off, getting that put back in the corner over there. That one, I got one bolt here that's essentially, I've uh, stripped out the threads inside of the bolt, or excuse me, inside of the nut, and I can't get it out. So I'm going to have to take the, uh, the grinding wheel to that and cut that out. So another, another poor little 50 plus year old bolt has decided that it was done playing. Um, but get the bonnet off. I got the transition piece uh, being rust converted right now. Just get some, uh, some converter on the back of that. Not, as, not in too bad a shape. But uh, get that painted up with some weld through and, then, and get those two sides welded in. And then work on getting the body off. Bonnet's off, obviously, back to her resting spot, and uh, all the bolts are off for the, the body, the body's loose, uh, including the radio tower, so I'm going to hook the, the uh, cherry picker back up there and uh, try and get this puppy back separated. I'm not quite sure where I'm going to put the chassis yet, we'll see how that goes. I obviously filled all the space back in here that uh, where it was, and I kind of like it like that, so I may just try to turn it sideways and have it stick out a little bit but we'll see how that goes all right so I'm ready to lift the body um, you can see it's a little crooked I already kind of have it on the tension a little bit same setup as last time with the exception that I have one strap going across the front to the hinges I think last time I had two separate ones um, so a come along strap a ratcheting strap that goes from one hinge through the turnbuckle in the leveling uh, thing. Can't remember what that thing's properly called. Back to the other hinge and adjusting that. And then the leveling thing cranked all the way back so it can preferentially lift the rear and then two hooks go into the seatbelt jack points or connection points for the back. Um, so again, same way essentially that I did it last time. Uh, even though I got the sills in, I did put cross beams across the, the doorways again, just to, you know, just in case. All right, so I'm going to lift the body up and uh, back it up towards me a little bit and then play Tetris to try and get all this stuff fit back in. So we'll see how it goes. Another thing I'll mention, I don't think you can see it in the shot, I put the um, gear shift in first gear, third gear, whichever is up there towards the top. Um, if you happen to notice that on my first video when I lifted this up, I had the gear shift in the way. Uh, I was going to take it off, but I, but I didn't need to as soon as I got it into first gear and just got it, got it uh, pushed towards the front of the car.
All right, I got the uh, body moved over. I also had it screwed down the front there on the uh, the brackets that bolt to the frame. I uh, screwed them down to the wood so they wouldn't lose them. Now I'll get the cherry picker out of there and move things around again. All right, well, I got everything arranged. Um, chassis is back towards the wall. Not uh, too bad, and I didn't, shouldn't really block any access to anything that I need. At least hopefully not, or it's going to be terrible. Um, so, going to cut the day short, a, a little short, and uh, I'm going to weld in the transition pieces and then make templates for the wood bucks to be able to roll the chassis. I bought some uh, cardstock like heavy paper with me to try to make a, a template for that for both sides, and then uh, that'll probably be it for the day. So, I'll, uh, I'll get back at it here. I'm going to grab a bite to eat and get on the uh, transition pieces. All right, so I got the patterns made for the uh, wooden buck. We'll see how that works. Um, that one's just going to kind of ride on the body there in the back. And then this one's a little trickier. Um, I'm not so sure that that's absolutely correct yet. I'll have to wait until I get a piece of wood. Obviously, the paper's floppy, so it's a lot easier to make it fit. But uh, but I went to knock that out before I welded the, the uh, transition pieces in. So I'm going to go ahead and get those things welded in, and that'll be it. All right, sorry for the uh, bad angle here, but the bottom eight post and the top eight post on this side, the bottom eight post new piece fit inside the top eight post. Um, I'm not positive that that's the way to do it. I actually did it opposite on the other side, but that's the way that it fit up for me. Um, and it just didn't, the bottom little flange didn't come far enough. So before I put the transition piece in, I want to get those two pieces welded together um, and then I'll go through. But since it was a pretty good gap in between, I used sheet metal screws. Now unfortunately what's happened is, is instead of the bottom A post drawing into the um, upper A post, the upper A post has pushed itself into the lower A post so it's got a little bit of a dish look to it. Uh, I'm, just, I'm not going to really concern myself about it. I'll just have to, to beat on the transition piece a little bit to get that to fit up, but, um, you know, so be it. So I'm going to go ahead and, and weld that up real quick, just a couple spot welds, get it cleaned up, and then uh, get some weld through primer on that entire area, go to the other side, do the other side. that dry move over to the other side all right again I'm kind of sorry for the bad angle here with the, the brace right in the way so hopefully you'll be able to see what I'm doing here's the transition piece um, again I used the black cars because it was in better shape this is Dorothy's original I did a lot of repair work on that uh, both the top and the for the top there and uh, just Whatever reason it's not coming in as nice as the other one, so I'm gonna head and go ahead and get this taken care of and, and hammered up and ready to go in. All right, so the way that I uh, intend to approach this is it's not fitting perfect, um, which you know I didn't really expect it to, but I think because I've got a, a flat, a horizontal line there, my intention and down at the bottom really. Right, so my intention is to line that up and then uh, hammer and dolly what I need to to get, to get the rest of the piece to fit. So um, I'm going to probably tack up top here, push that in, and tack it uh, up top, and then just go around and hammer and dolly it until I can get it kind of flush with the rest of the piece here. And uh, hopefully that'll, that'll work. I guess I'll find out.
that side with that. Move over to the other side, get that tacked in. I'm probably not going to have time to do it all. Alright, so this time I was able to use Dorothy's original. And uh, essentially, I'm going to do the same thing that I did on the other side. Get it tacked in over here, up the top. Work my way down and around. All right, everybody, about 2 o'clock. Uh, time for me to skedaddle. So I uh, got the body off the frame again. Uh, made templates for the wooden buck so that I can turn the thing around, or excuse me, turn it on its side so I can get to the bottom, get the bottom cleaned up. And I got the transition pieces uh, mostly in. So uh, not too bad. A little uh, Started off a little slow. But uh, once I get this thing on its side, that's I'm going to have probably you know two pounds of weld metal just dedicated to filling little holes here and there and finally finishing all my welds and all that kind of stuff so um, obviously still quite a bit of work to do I never really did finish any welds which may or may not have been a good idea in hindsight but whatever so um, I'll get some wood and we'll get going on the wooden bucks and then uh, we'll go from there so have a good rest of your weekend uh, hopefully uh, it's working out for you and that if you're in the Northeast that you have electricity thankfully we didn't lose any because of the storm um, but my door got blown open here a couple times from the wind so it's still pretty bad but otherwise like I said have a good weekend and uh, have a good week and I'll see you sometime in the middle of it cheers